Hi, welcome to the Propaganda Game. Today I will be showing you how easy it is to log onto the site and begin playing the single player game. First, we'll want to make sure we type the correct address into our browser. The address is propagandagame.org. You'll know you have arrived at the correct site when you see the word propaganda in bold white letters. At the top of the site, you'll see a number of options such as Forum, Submissions, Play Online, Classic, Contact, and Login. We'll first want to log into the site by clicking on the Login option at the top right. Another page will load where we can type our email address and password into the correct areas and then click Login to log into the site. If you are new to the site and you do not have an email and password yet, simply click Sign Up at the bottom. This will take you to another page where you can type in a unique username and email address and password. After typing in your password a second time in the password confirmation, you can click the Sign Up button and your information will be sent to you in an email. Afterwards, navigate back to the main site and click Log In again. Now you can type in your email address and password to log into the site by clicking the login button. You will then return to the main site where your name and profile can now be seen at the top right of the site. The option we will want to click on to begin the single player game is play online at the top middle of the main site. After clicking play online, another window will pop up over top of the website. This is the menu for the single player game. You should see a rainbow colored eye and three buttons to the right. I'm going to minimize the website behind the game and then stretch the game window so that we have a larger view to fit our monitor. The three buttons in front of us are the selection process, the author's compendium, and a help button. To begin, we are going to click on the selection process. This takes us to a screen where we find a large wheel with different icons and letters and symbols, and various areas that I'll describe in detail. The selection process allows us to choose what kinds of propaganda examples we want to see and vote on in-game. First. Let's look at the information area at the top right of the screen. Wherever you move your mouse to in the selection process, a brief explanation will appear describing the element you have hovered over. Let's start with a section icon on the outer edge of the wheel. As we hover over the light bulb icon in the self-deception area, we can see that the information area has changed from being empty to giving a description of the self-deception section. As we move our mouse over the other section areas such as maneuver, the information area then tells us that the maneuver section are comprised of tricks of argument techniques. Each section icon has its own description. You may want to familiarize yourself with what each section is before choosing which types of examples you want to appear in game. We can click on any or all section icons to choose to see examples from sections we want. Clicking on the self-deception icon means that we want the program to choose only examples that contain techniques in the self-deception section. We can choose one section or multiple sections. Choosing no sections is the same as choosing all sections. Simply unclick each section to deselect it. If we want to view the propaganda techniques that are contained within any given section, we can hover over the colored lettered areas. When we hover over the orange area with the letter A, we can see the 10 techniques that make up the self-deception section. Hover over the letter B, we can see the techniques for the language section. To make the techniques for each section stay on the screen, simply click the letter for that section. We can select the letters for all six sections to see all the techniques at one time. 
Simply click any letter again to remove the techniques from the screen. To see a list of all techniques and to read their definitions, click on the pearl in the very middle of the wheel. This will take us to a screen that shows all techniques in their respected sections. By clicking on any technique, we can see its definition below. Click the back arrow to return to the selection process. Let's take a look at the center area of the wheel. Here we find four areas called spheres of life. They are relations, media, reflections, and politics. Let's click on relations first. As a result of choosing the relations people sphere, we see now that there are new categories that appear in the pink areas to the right. They are peer pressure, business and finance, family, education, relationships, and injustice. We can pick one or all or none of these categories to tell the program to look for our selected categories first. If we want to see propaganda examples found in education, we would select education here. Choosing no categories in the pink area of the relations sphere is the same as choosing all of them. What you are saying by choosing no particular category in the relations sphere is that you are interested in just relations. By choosing one or two or three categories, you are telling the program that you are primarily interested in the categories you have chosen. Let's look at the media sphere next. After clicking on the blue TV media sphere, we see that four new categories have been added to our list. They are advertising, literature, reporting, and entertainment. At this point, because the relations sphere has been chosen with the media sphere, we can pick anything we want between this list of 10 categories. We may want to choose peer pressure, family, advertising, and entertainment. Again, not choosing any categories with both the relations sphere and media sphere selected means that the program will search for all 10 categories in both the pink and blue areas. Now let's look at the reflection category by clicking on the green eye sphere in the middle of the wheel. This adds five new categories to our list. Everyday life, beliefs, science, introspection, and health and illness. Again, we can choose whichever combination of any category from the pink, blue, and green areas. Choosing no categories means that the program will search for all the categories from the relations, media, and reflection spheres. Lastly, let's select the tan speaker politics sphere. Now we see that our category list is full, adding campaigns, policy, partisanship, nationalism, and war to our list. If we wanted to search for propaganda examples that reflect injustice and literature and science and war, we can select one category from each area, or two from each, or three from each, or just one from reflections, two from media, three from reflection, and one from politics, whichever combination you're interested in. We can deselect any sphere by clicking on the appropriate icon, which will make the categories of that sphere disappear from our list, telling the program that we are not interested in any of the categories of that sphere. The small triangle area allows us to tell the program that we either want to see examples that only contain images, or only contain videos, or only to see examples appropriate for ages 18 or above. The keyword area allows us to search the examples for specific words. We only need to separate these words with a comma. Let's say we want to search for presidents, governors, and congressmen. Type these three words in separated by a comma and that's it. No need to hit enter. Just above the ready button we see the ratings box. Here we can choose to see examples that have been voted by other players as having one two, three, four, or five stars. If we want to see a higher rated pool of examples, 
we can choose four stars and the program will prioritize the examples that will appear in your game, finding four star, three star, two star, and one star examples. Finally, at the top left of the selection process is a small button that reads Author Version. By default, the game is played using the author of the example as the arbiter of the correct technique. By clicking on this button, we can change the version of the game to a popular version. When choosing the popular version, the correct answer for the propaganda technique used in each example is the most popular voted technique. In the popular version, you are rewarded as well for answering the second and third most voted technique for each example. This is true as well for the author version if the author submitted a secondary or tertiary technique for his or her created example. Before moving on to the game, we can click the blue question mark to see help files if we forget what a certain element or object does in the selection process. Now, Let's choose a criteria for our game. I'm interested in seeing examples of where propaganda occurs in the media, specifically in advertising and entertainment. I'm also interested in exploitation techniques. I also want to see examples that have images in them. After I have selected my interest, I'm ready to push the ready button. What we see next is a screen that lets us choose between 10, 20, and 30 examples for our match. If the program is unable to find 30 examples, your options may only be 10 or 20 examples, or even less. In this case, the program found plenty of examples, so let's choose 30 and then press continue. Now we can see the game board where we find another colored wheel with a big go button in the middle and to the right we can see two folder-like windows that are yellow and orange. Underneath the wheel there is a small white window that has some instructions in it. At the outset it will read press go for new example. You can also see that surrounding the go button are several black circles with one dark blue circle with a D on it. This is the D section or exploitation section that we chose in the selection process. Let's begin our game by pressing the Go button. The Go button is now replaced by a Vote button, and our instructions in the instruction window below now read, select a section A through F. We can also see that there is an image now in the yellow image folder window. If the image has text that is too small to read, we can click on the magnifying glass to enlarge the image. We can also zoom in and out to further magnify the image. Now that we've read and understood our example image, we can click out of the magnification window by pressing the X button and then returning to the game board. Following the instructions in the instruction window, we need to select a section A through F. Because we only chose D, or the exploitation section, in the selection process, it is the only one that is available. So let's click on D. Once we have clicked on the D section, all the techniques for section D appear now on the colored petals of the wheel. They are Appeal to Pity, Appeal to Flattery, Appeal to Ridicule, Appeal to Prestige, Appeal to Prejudice, Bargain Appeal, Folksy Appeal, Join the Bandwagon Appeal, Practical Consequences, and From the Acceptable to the Dubious. If we chose two sections in the selection process, we would be able to switch back and forth between those two sections. Now that we have read and understood our image example, it is time to choose which propaganda technique is being used. Simply click on the technique you believe is being used. Let's click on Appeal to Pity at the top. Once Appeal to Pity has been selected, the yellow petal area will light up and a black button with a check mark will appear on top. If we are unsure what Appeal to Pity means and want to read its definition, we can click on the black button with the check mark and a window will appear with its definition over top of the main wheel. 
click on the orange X button to close the definition window. At any time we may also choose to click the Pearl button at the bottom left of the main wheel to see our list of techniques and their definitions like the one we saw in the selection process. Click the back arrow at the bottom right to return back to the game. I'm going to choose another technique other than Appeal to Pity for this example, so I'm going to simply select another colored petal for another technique. Before voting, remember the propaganda game also has the option of choosing no technique. Some of the examples that appear in game use no propaganda technique. This is to show players that sometimes manipulation does not occur. After having chosen the propaganda technique we believe is being used in the given example, we are now ready to vote by clicking the vote button. We can now see that our vote button has become a rate button. In the instruction box below the main wheel, we can see our vote and then the author's primary vote. At this point, we can see at the bottom right corner of the game board that our match score and our life score have changed to reflect our correct answer. A blue and white circular icon with the letter I now appears that will give us details regarding how well we are doing in various sections and techniques. Clicking on the I icon will display another screen with various sections and technique colored bars. By default, self-deception is selected, showing its corresponding techniques below. To change sections, simply click on the circular icon under the section text. The techniques for that section will be displayed below. Each section and technique bar shows how many examples have been seen and how many have been voted correctly. This will help us determine what areas we may still need more awareness of. Click out of the scoring details by clicking on the orange X. Another option for us during the rate stage of the game is commenting. The blue comment bubble icon at the bottom of the screen will open up a dialog window. After clicking the comment bubble, we can see one or many comments left by the author and other players who have played this example. The very first comment is always the author's comment, if he or she chose to leave one during the creation of the example. We can add to this running dialog by typing in the gray text box any thoughts we may have about the example. This can be either about the example, or a comment to the author, or a reply to another player who has commented. After typing our comment, simply click the Submit button and our comment will be added to the dialog of this example. Click the orange X button to leave the comment area. Finally, we can rate this example by choosing 1 to 5 stars. Examples that we like a lot, we may choose to give 4 to 5 stars. Examples that we aren't crazy about, we can give 1 to 2 stars. By not choosing any stars, we are choosing to not rate the example at all. After rating, we can click either the Rate button at the bottom left or the Big Rate button in the middle of the wheel. After clicking either Rate button, a new Go button will appear, letting us know that we are ready for another example. Also, remember that at any time, if we forget what a certain element does or need a quick refresher on how to play, the blue question mark will take us into the help files. At the bottom right of the screen, just above the match score, the game tells us how many examples are left in our match. If we complete all examples in the match, we will be sent back to the selection process screen to customize a new match. Or, if we want to finish the match early, we can click the Finish button at the top right of the screen to be sent back to the selection process screen. The only way the game saves your scores and details of your match is to either finish a match or by clicking the Finish button. Before ending this tutorial, I'm going to finish our match and return back to the selection process. After returning to the selection process, I'm going to choose a different set of criteria for another match. This time, I'm going to choose two sections. One, self-deception, and two, maneuver. I'm not going to choose any of the other four spheres or any categories this time. 
I'm also not going to choose to see only examples with images. So I'm ready now to click the Ready button. I'm going to choose 30 examples for my match and click the Continue button. Once our new game loads, we will see our Go button. But now we see that two blue circle areas appear, A and F, Self-Deception and Maneuver. Let's hit the Go button and see our first example for this match. In this match, because we chose two different sections, we can either choose A or F. When we click on the blue area A, we see all the techniques for that section, the self-deception section. We can at any time click on the blue section area F to see section F's techniques. So now we have a total of 20 techniques that we must decide between, 10 per section. The more sections we choose in the selection process, the more difficult the game gets. We can also see that this example has no image, only text. If the text is too small, you can use the smaller magnifying glass to enlarge the text and then close the enlarged window by clicking the orange X. Thank you for watching the How to Play the Single Player Game video and please check out our other videos including the How to Submit Examples as an Author. Happy hunting!